Hello and welcome to another update video about an Unwound Clockwork, the steampunk stop motion movie I'm working on for 1.6 eternities now and still counting. Um, so, regarding October's progress, let's start with puppet maker Ulrich this time. He is currently um, working on the next human character, the human boss, and he successfully made some 3D printed parts um, to establish the shape of his torso, basically. And these 3D printed parts got screwed onto the breathing armature I built some months ago. And now when you expand and contract it, you can really start to see the, the body breathing, I think. And besides this, he also did some molds, basically 3D printing some molds, which we are going to pour in some silicone to make hands and the head. And 3D printing the molds enables us to do kind of rapid prototyping and yeah, do tiny tweaks until we get there and it's very interesting to figure out how to do this basically. Um, and yeah, the, the first results look promising but there are still some tiny flaws in the 3D print and stuff but um, as it seems Ulrich will do the, the first batches of silicone hands very soon now. So I'm excited how this will turn out and quite optimistic from what I saw when he visited my workshop a couple of days ago. Um, okay, besides this, Maurice, as usual, um, continued working on the furniture for the next set and I think we can now call it finished. There's a big cupboard, a smaller cupboard, the big desk and the chair which were finished last month as well. Um, so yeah, I think the furnitures are finished now. And uh, at the beginning of October um, we also did the first test shots under proper lighting involving the chair and the desk. So we put it in the old office set, so the background with the pipes and everything will be changed later. But for now um, I think you can really see how everything comes together and I think also the lighting with the oven which is incorporated into the desk and everything, uh, I'm, I'm quite confident it will look great. Inka, who is working on the post-production of the animated scenes, also made some progress. So there are some more finished office scenes now. And um, for the scenes where the human is smoking his pipe, um, we figured there's something missing, like a bit of smoke hanging in the air over his head or anything. And we were thinking, hmm, how could we achieve this? And eventually um, we ended up shooting some more stock footage. So we had a fun little afternoon with a vaporizer and yeah, made some footage of vapor in the air and hopefully this will help us to complete the pipe scenes as well. <laughs> I think that's about it from my helpers progress. Um, on my side I was helping out with some minor props for the upcoming set and I was also making some jewelry pieces, some of them inspired by the little props, um, because I plan to do a bit of a winter sale very soon in my shop where, where you can get some of the little things I'm making. I'll let you know more about that next month probably. Um, there wasn't a live stream last month but instead I finally published a new little video about the restoring process of the human main character's hands and it has some very gory scenes of ripping off the skin from the tiny hands and everything and yeah great Halloween content. So um, if you want to see how those get restored and everything then make sure to check the video out it's still on YouTube of course. And my main project last month was basically setting up my new motion control system. Um, yeah, I finally decided it's time for some motorized camera movements. And I'm pretty sure I will need this for some upcoming scenes. So yeah, I finally decided to buy a motion control system from Noxon in Spain. And they were kind enough to give me a little discount and they added an additional 4-axis controller which allows me to control my own little contraptions in the sets. More about that later. And yeah, in exchange I'm making some behind the scenes shots and a little video about the system, yeah. So what's currently set up there is my first little test animation with the system and yeah, I used the opportunity to try out some things with the probe robot character which didn't happen in the movie and yeah it produced some nice little creepy Halloween animation and if you want to see it it's available on Patreon on the GIF animation reward. Yeah and besides the camera controller with the 
slider and everything, I also have a 4-axis controller, which basically enables me to drive any kind of stepper motors with that system as well. And so one of the things I built is two of these. That's basically a linear drive, a stepper motor, which can move this block up and down and I can attach different things to it. And the idea is to automate things which move in the set, like wheels and bellows and yeah, we will see. But uh, those will be used for the human boss character's office. And I also have some other things in mind I want to try out. And also that's something um, which will be featured in the video about the Noxon system, probably early December or something. But yeah, um, there's a lot of work going into these and setting up the different test shots and everything. And I'm not sure if the discount deal was so great after all, because it's a lot of work, but it's also great fun to try this out and get used to it and everything. I think that's about it for October's progress, but of course the motion control thing will continue in November as well. And the main project for next month will be the last big scene in the office set. And I think it will use up most of the time in November because the setup alone will take a week at least, probably. It's a very big complicated shot, which also needs some modifications in the set itself. And then the shoot is also scheduled for an entire week. Like it's over 40 seconds of continuous, continuous animation. And yeah, so two weeks alone are only going into one big shot. And after that, I hope I will be able to also do some little close-up shots, which are still missing to really wrap up that set. So this will be the main task for November. And so finishing the boss character set and everything will have to wait for December probably. Um, I'm honestly a bit nervous about the entire thing because it's such a huge setup, but after it's finished I will be quite relieved and we will have reached a major milestone, so yeah, looking forward to that. Um, and at last there are two little annoying things and maybe you can help me out with those. Um, first, I will need a new computer because that one back there the laptop I'm using for live streaming and for recording these update videos. Um, I borrowed it from a friend of mine and now he needs it back apparently. So yeah, maybe some of you has an old desktop computer or something I could put down there under the desk. Um, doesn't need to be state of the art, but also not like 20 years old or something. But if you have an old computer and would like to support the project that way, um, it would be very appreciated. Um, and if, if it's not possible, then I will just buy one, of course. It's not a big deal, but maybe there are better uses for my limited budget. And the second thing is a bit similar, because for many years now I have two of these Canon cameras I'm basically using for any everything, like animating plus shooting making of things. And one of them died and I quite often need two of them simultaneously, like for animating and doing making offs. And uh, yeah, so maybe you have an older Canon DSLR camera and are willing to support me with, with giving the old camera or selling it cheap. Um, I have an Canon EOS 550D. I think the, the international t title was the Rebel Ti2 or something. Um, it's an older camera. Um, and everything which is as old or new newer than that from Canon would be very useful to continue my work. Same thing, um, if I don't find one, I just have to buy one, but yeah, asking is maybe worth a try. <laughs> um, and yeah, so thank you very much and thanks especially to all my Patreon supporters who enable me continuing doing this thing and yeah I'm really really glad for all your support. So yeah um, probably see you next month again for a new update hopefully with good news from the <laughs> finished office set. Um, yeah so thanks for watching see you next time bye bye.